Hatred for the art community has become part of my image at this point, and I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. We'll be talking about another content creator today as I've come across a video that I think is doing more harm than good. The purpose of this video is to talk to this creator on equal standing and to give them my opinion on their opinion and content. Seeing as I'm discussing opinions within this video, I wanted to state that just because I disagree with this person and our values are different from one another, it doesn't mean that I hate this person or want this person off the platform. Do not take it upon yourself to harass this person solely off the basis of morals. And for those of you who ignore me and still take it upon yourself to comment, please be civil and be respectful within doing so. Now that we've gotten the pleasantries out of the way, let's get into the video. Today we'll be talking about Scorpy HQ, an up and coming art commentary channel. Their channel was created August 20th, 2021, and has a total of three videos listed two mainly focusing on the art commentary community, and one meme video. Now, upon first glance at this channel, you'd think it was a joke, and I thought as well until they released a video titled Thuman the leech of art commentary. We start the video with your standard disclaimer. This is mainly used as a fail safe for when someone is about to say something offensive, but doesn't want the repercussions of their words. Traditionally, disclaimers are used to indicate that a material is not suitable for some viewers. Essentially, an age rating for the material. But on YouTube, it's used differently. So often, they will put a disclaimer as a way to not take accountability for their words or actions online. I'll explain later why I'm bringing up the matter of the disclaimer, but for now, let's move into the video. I'll be using timestamps while also providing the necessary clips within their context to further prove my point. We'll be starting at 9 seconds in and 31 seconds in. So my hatred for the art community has become part of my image at this point, and I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. Like, frankly, these people are just too f***ing retarded for me to ever start liking them and the person i'm going to be talking about today is a human embodiment of every reason why so with that being said let's begin Going back to the matter of disclaimers, I really don't understand why you feel the need to have one when you openly call someone a retard within your video. You basically call Thuman a retard because of reasons we'll get into later. I can understand not liking someone, but what's the point of calling them a retard when you just mean stupid? This is harmful and your ignorance is showing. Just call them stupid. Unless you actually think retarded people are stupid, then that says more about you than the person you're criticizing. Me quoting you like this also proves my point that you just want to say something offensive and don't actually care about the hate or harassment of another person. You also claim that some of the things you say within this video are jokes. But my biggest question to you is where is the joke in the first clip? What was so funny about calling them in a retard? Do you think their abilities are a joke? A joke is a display of humor in which words are used within a specific and well-defined narrative structure to make people laugh and is usually not meant to be interpreted literally, which is what you want given the disclaimer. It usually takes from the form of a story Story, often with dialogue and ends with a punchline whereby the humorous element of the story is revealed. Where is your story? Where is your buildup? And where is your punchline? What is funny about this and as far as i can tell nothing it seems to me that you just want to stir the pot and say offensive things just for the sake of it and even if what you're saying is satire you as a comedian have to make it clear that it is satire nothing in the video makes it clear other than the disclaimer nothing on your channel indicates that the channel itself is a troll a meme or a joke because before writing the script for this video i wanted to make sure that i'm not taking things out of context or blowing them out of proportion or not recognizing how your content is structured. The first video you produce reflects itself as, and I can clearly tell it is, but the other two, not so much. I mainly think your joke failed to land with me because its target is so specific. Since you're trying to compare Thuman to someone who is retarded, it runs flat. Then again, your humor, in my opinion, just seems to be juvenile and toilet humor at best. So let's get into Scorpy's reason as to why Thuman is comparable to a quote unquote retard. We'll start around the 32 second mark and the minute 59 mark. So today's target is Thuman. Thuman is an art commentary channel whose entire content is basically just crying about how racist the world is. 
Racism is something I've had to deal with quite often in my life as a black person living in a country where there aren't many people that look like me. I've had to endure bullying due to my skin color. Hey, Suman, uh, we'd love to hear about your sad experiences, but don't you think just maybe we can get it by now? In the video, Scorpy's reasoning for calling Thuman a retard is because she openly talks about race, racist acts against her, and others in the art community. So apparently when you talk about race, you're only supposed to talk about it once and never talk about it again, which kind of gives me the indication that this person has never dealt with people of color's race-related issues and that they're talking from an outsider's perspective. If you don't like her content, block her channel from being recommended to you. You can easily click the three dots underneath the video and click the do not recommend channel. And unless you actively seek that channel out yourself, YouTube will no longer recommend that channel to you or that person's content to you. Crazy how that works, right? The same can be said with the Twitter and other social media platforms. It's on you to filter out the content that is pushed to you. Thuman has a total of 45 videos, and out of those 45 videos, 11 of them are race related. When Thuman first started their channel, it was race related. Thuman has openly talked about race issues and combated them within her videos. She's showcasing the hate and harassment that is persistent within this community. Even if she's never made a race related video within her career, I'm sure that many others would have still taken it upon themselves to attack her due to her skin color. She wanted to showcase this behavior and she continues to showcase it and I don't understand the issue with that. It's like you want her to endure the harassment of others in silence when silence is complacent. Thuman is not compliant in the harassment. It is not that hard of a concept for people to understand. Nor do I think it's hard for you to understand. You're just tired of her making race-related videos. My issue with that is there are people who are not well equipped to understand what POCs actually go through. As a light-skinned bi person of color, I don't go through the same level of harassment as a dark-skinned person of color. I don't have people making racist caricatures of my likeness, but I do have people calling me the hard R or the N word or negating my blackness as a whole. Due to colorism, people of color of all shades are treated differently and that's just a fact. Another reason is how she talks about race. If you understood Thuman's message after the fourth or fifth video, that's good for you. Other people are not so receptive, other people are not so perceptive. Meaning that something like this has to be echoed over and over again for it to be heard. If you don't like that she discusses race and showcases racist behaviors, you can unsub, block, mute, unfollow, and don't recommend the channel. You have all the tools necessary to block this content, but you would rather make a quote-unquote satire video or a quote-unquote joke video rather than actually articulate your feelings. And in the rare cases where she has been sitting in a room fucking moaning whenever a 12-year-old says the n-word in her comment section, she's putting her retardation on full display in other ways, such as making a 20-minute video on an obvious gotcha life troll account. I'm going to be talking about how a racist gotcha YouTuber faked their own death and tried to blame it on me in order to get sympathy after being called out for saying the n-word. You may think, whoa, this gotcha tuber must have been pretty relevant or a very convincing troll to get a YouTuber with 300,000 subscribers to make a 20-minute video about it, when in reality, this gotcha tuber averages like six likes per video. You accuse her of sitting in your room complaining about all the harassment when you're sitting in your room complaining about someone complaining about something valid because it has no actual effect on you, you don't have sympathy, and you have no reason to care. Therefore, you don't, and thus you make the content that you currently make. You also don't like the duration of her content for some reason because the troll you are referring to has fewer subscribers than her and less views, totally dismisses and ignoring the fact that this user used a racial slur against her publicly, mind you. She can publicly address their actions and call them out if she wants to, which she has every right to do. She wants others to know what is happening to her and how it may be affecting her. She is also allowing others to learn from her situation if they happen to find themselves in a similar matter. These are all the basic lessons that can be learned from watching Thuman's videos. Every time you watch one of her videos, you can at least say, that you get some takeaway from something from the video. With your content, the only takeaway that I get from your video is that you're bitter towards the art commentary community. So I suspect you think that attacking the bigger members will help you climb, when in reality it'll only attract the energy that you put out, which is negative, might I add. You're a creator that creates short form content, and Thuman is a creator that creates long form content, and it's that simple. She could drag this out for an hour or maybe even a year, 
if she damn well felt like it. But it's not your place to tell her how long or short her content should be. No offense to you, but her subscriber count and views are proof that she knows what she's doing better than you know what she's doing. And she's excelling because she's doing that, a formula that works for her. Around the two minute mark to the two minute and 21 second mark, you misrepresent Thuman as a person with low morality because she didn't care about the sob story of a troll. A shocking DM from a not safe for work gotcha account that really took me by surprise. It said, and I quote, I effing hate you. My girlfriend is dead because of you. I just want to add that even if hypothetically, whatever the girlfriend was saying was true, I would still not care. I have no sympathy for a racist bully. Wow, so justifying the death of someone who is on average about six years old because they called you a word you didn't like in one of their gotcha life videos. You're totally the very morally correct person here. A story, mind you, that was fabricated to manipulate Thuman and make her feel as if she was responsible for taking another person's life. You take the age demographic of the gotcha life franchise as a indicator of the user's age when I know people who are over 30 using and making gotcha life content. I even used and consumed it in my early 20s and I'm currently 25 right now just to see what all the fuss was about. So yes, kids like the franchise and I understand that you're worried about the demographic, but that doesn't mean that everyone in the community is a child. It's the same with the My Little Pony fandom. And if you know this person is an obvious troll, then why take what they say as face value? when it comes to their sob story. But you call Thuman a retard when you're repeating the same retarded behavior that you're ridiculing Thuman for? Because that's what you're doing. If it's retarded for her to respond to this troll, it's retarded for you to use the fact that Thuman has no sympathy for the troll, just for that troll to use that weakness against her. And in reality, why would she? What reason does she have to sympathize with the troll that has been doing nothing but harassing her and causing her stress? This person has been nothing but negative and destructive from the moment that they talked about Thuman. In what sane world would she be nice or sympathetic to a person who called her a slur, who suicide baited her, and overall is a pathological liar? I don't care how young a person is, I don't care how old a person is. If you don't reprimand them for their terrible behavior, they will never learn from their terrible behavior. Around the 2 minute and 22 second mark, the 2 minute and 50 second mark. So in all of Thuman's videos, she likes to script in all these big words just so that she can sound smarter than your average person. When in reality, the more she talks, the more you realize how much of a fucking brainless she is. Like, it's actually sad, dude. The reason why whitewashing is problematic and blackwashing isn't is rooted in our current society and the power imbalance that exists when it comes to representation. There Shut your f***ing trap. You claim that Thuman is retarded for using complicated words and you proceed to show an example of her using complicated words. Thuman talks mainly about race issues in the art commentary community, something we've established that you understand but don't care for, then proceed to not clearly tell why this is a negative thing. Are you trying to say that she's using words without knowing the meaning of those words? And if so, how are you showcasing that in the video? You don't. Therefore, your point falls flat yet again, just like your jokes. Tell me you don't have an expansive vocabulary without telling me you don't have an expansive vocabulary. Just because your knowledge of words is limited doesn't mean that she wants to sound smarter than the average person. Also, just because someone uses complicated words doesn't mean they are more or less smarter than the average person. There is nothing wrong with broadening your vocabulary and learning new words. So, since the words are too big and too complicated for your liking, allow me to dumb it down for you to understand. The reason why whitewashing is bad and blackwashing isn't is because blackwashing doesn't hold the same level of oppression versus whitewashing. White people have more power socially than minorities, meaning that they have more of a chance of being represented in the media when it comes to representation. But if that was too confusing for you, how about you just shut your fucking trap? Overall, I think if you actually took the time and effort into your content, you make a great creator. Like I said, I have no beef with you, I just don't enjoy your content. I've seen what you create and what you do, and I feel like you can grow beyond that and do better than what you're currently producing. If you actually have animosity for this community and people that reside in it, instead of hiding your emotions and distasteful jokes and satire, you should be upfront about it. It's mainly the juvenile level insults that really make me think that none of what you say is a joke. If you don't 
meet people with civility. You will never be met with it yourself. Whitewashing Thuman's art just to spite her isn't the move either and is also juvenile behavior. It indicates to me that you're a child or at least late teens. You are adding to the problem. You also claim that it's criticism but you never once gave a critical take. Mostly ad hominem attacks at her character and not really providing a critique. You provide deconstructive criticism. You never told Thuman what she could do to make her content better. You never clarified why your reasoning was justified. You put up a few clips on the screen and expect everyone to come to the same conclusion as you with little to no effort in guiding the audience. You're cultivating a community based on hate and animosity. Hopefully, you'll be better in the future, but I highly doubt that will be the case, but you never know. Fingers crossed. It sounds like you're young, so I won't be too hard on you, but you should really learn to self-reflect and read the comments telling you that what you're doing and the way you're going about things will end up hurting you more as you progress. I recommend taking the time to think through before you post a video criticizing others and peer review it. I do it with my scripts and I normally have someone listen to the whole thing or read the whole thing and, and have them give me feedback on the things that I should change and the language I should use. That way I won't be met with the most advert reactions even though I expect the worst outcome every time I post. But again this also applies to the message you are trying to promote. You are trying to say that this community sucks but showcasing the wrong parts of the community due to whatever bias you have against Thuman. Seeing as Thuman discusses race and you mainly ragged on her for speaking on it, I'm inclined to believe that your issue is race related. I just wish you could articulate it in a better way because even if I think you're wrong from your take in the video, clearly stating why and providing evidence could have helped you make your point more apparent. Now others agreeing with that narrative is a whole nother story, but here we are. This is what I mean by do better and this is what I mean by be better. Hopefully you will. But seeing as you like to call people the n-word in your comment section and to do other things that are just in poor taste so to speak. I don't think you'll actually take this video with actual consideration. Thuman is not the leech of the art commentary. If anything, the leech is you. Anywho, if you like the video, then like the video. If you don't like the video, leave a comment down below and we can fight about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Johnny! I'm drowning in euphoria Drowning in euphoria